put the sanding sealer on it. It is, I, wouldn't, I, don't, I don't know if I'd call this punky because I've all the punky I've had is real, real, real mushy. This is actually really hard, but it has that punky, it chunks apart like that. Um, it has it in different locations, like this entire side is like that. But then it gets really, it gets really smooth, and then it gets it again. Um, it has a s start to get smooth there, but then it gets chunky again like that. So I really don't know. See, it has a small piece of that. What you know, I'm guessing, I'm going to call it punky spot there. But then it goes smooth. So. All right. Um, backside or where it's going to be the bottom it has a small spot of that punky area right there and a small spot right there um, I have it on a face plate it was uneven so I put a little wedge in there to even it out so it would turn straight um, I can still only turn it at about 340 RPMs. People like their stuff perfect, and you know, I like some of my stuff to be close to as perfect as you can get it. I guess is what, but I also like stuff to look natural, also, so I don't really don't care if it's wavy or not. Um, I've seen on a video with Rick Turner. Um, on YouTube he does a lot of stuff where he just leaves the natural inclusions into the wood even stuff like this but I don't know how he does it where he'll put a tenon in there he'll hollow out the middle and he'll even I mean sometimes he leaves a thick wall in there when he gets close to stuff like this um, but I've also seen videos of people or I've seen I've never seen the videos but I've seen pictures of people who have actually turned half of a bowl well I mean, they'll have like an occlusion here um they'll turn the you know they'll turn out some they'll turn this part out but I mean it'll be like two it'll be smooth have an occlusion smooth and then this they have a section that's like totally gone and they, they turned air but it'll be a round bowl. It'll have imperfections in it, like natural imperfections in it, like something like that. But then they have a section of the bowl that's just gone. I don't know, did the bowl break away? Or did they actually have something like this where the base was going to be kind of cattywampus and they just kept turning until this was gone and then they hollowed out the bowl and until they got to the wall where till they got to the wall and then they just this section just hollowed it you know they hollowed out until this was gone and then they just kept turning air how did they make the tenon strong enough and where did they make the tenon look that's center if they make the tenon in this area to make it center of the bowl that tenon's going to be really close to the edge of the bowl. So where is it that they would do something like that? Because they never, I've never seen a video where they actually do it. I've only seen the after effect. I've seen it on bowls. I've seen it on vases. So if you have an idea or if anybody has an idea, please let me know.